this is a means this video is video number two. Uh, this video number two is a this a workstation that is Kerberos. Uh, that is uh, the, this this image shows that a workstation server ticket granting service server Kerberos database authentication server Kerberos key distribution service. That is. <coughs> Kerberos key distribution service consisting of T uh, ticket granting server, Kerberos database, and authentication server. These are mapped to, to the college workstation. From the workstation, we are going to give this called server. From the server, it is user. And how does Kerberos work? To request a service from the server, the client goes through three phases of authentication. The first phase consists of the client request a ticket from the Kerberos. The Kerberos grants a ticket and a session key. Initially, client requests a ticket from the Kerberos. Kerberos grants a ticket and a session key. The ticket is used for requesting other tickets from various services. That is, a ticket request ticket this request from uh, client requests a ticket from the Kerberos. The Kerberos grants a ticket from a session key. The ticket is used to requesting other tickets from various services. The ticket conveys identity ticket conveys identity of the client to the server, and the session is used. The session key is used for conversation between client and server. Next phase two. <coughs> phase two. The client uses a ticket of the first phase to request a ticket from the ticket granting server for a specific services. The client uses a ticket from the first phase to request ticket from the ticket granting server from a specific service. Phase three. The client present a client present a key to the server for the services. There are three phases: phase one, phase two, and phase three. Phase one is the client request ticket from the Kerberos. Kerberos grants a ticket and session key. The ticket is used for requesting other tickets or the various services. Ticket conveys identity of the client to the server, and the session key is used for conversation between the client and server. Phase two: the client uses a ticket from the phase first phase <coughs> to request a ticket from the ticket granting server for the specific services. Phase three: the client present the key to the server of the services. Next, we call as authentication server. The authentication server: the client sends a plain text request to the AS, asking the ticket which is used to the TGS, which requests a login name and TGS, which requests login name and TGS. Since this request contains only well-known names, it does not need to be sealed. <coughs> The client sends a plain text request to the AS asking for a ticket. It can be used to talk to the TGS. In request can have login name and TGS name. Since this contains only well known names, it does not need to be sealed. Then it contains well well known names, it does not to be sealed. Next, you can have authentication server. The authentication server finds a key responding to the login name and TGS name. Authentication server. Creates a ticket. The ticket consists of login name, TGS name, client network addresses, TGS session key. That is consists of login name, TGS name, client network addresses, client network addresses and TGS session key. The authentication service seals the ticket with TGS secret key. Authentication service seals the ticket with a TGS secret. I repeat, authentication service is, is a fine key. Uh, uh, E corresponding to login name and TGS name. Uh. The authentication server finds a key corresponding to login name and the, and the TGS name. Authentication server creates a ticket which is with the ticket consists of login name, TGS name, client network address, and TGS session key. The authentication server seals the ticket with a TGS session key. Authentication server responses. The authentication server also create a random session key for a client and TGS to use. Authentication servers also create a random session key for a client and TGS to use. The session key and sealed ticket key is being used. That is, ticket with a login name, TGS name, network address, and TGS session is used. That is nothing but it consists. It is sealed with a user key. Next, accessing the TGS. <coughs> the client decrypts the message using the user password and a CSS secret key. The client decrypts the message using the user's password as a secret key. The client now has a session key and a ticket is used for contact at TGS. The client now has a session key ticket that can be used to contact at TGS. 
A client cannot see the ticket inside cannot see inside a ticket since client does not know the TGS secret key. Hence, thank you for watching this video. Thank you.